This is our kitchen window. This is our hallway window. And this is where we keep the firewood. After chopping the woods, we pile them here, then bring them inside and burn them in winter. For 22 long years, the Petrosian family has lived in Gyumri's shanty town. For 22 years, it has dreamed of owning a decent home. The hut is in terrible shape, and we can't afford to buy a house. I've applied to Armenia Fund because I've seen how they work, and I knew they had helped many families in our neighborhood. If we have guests, this is where we receive them, in this bedroom. Come, let me show you. Just be careful. There's a hole in the ground here. The guests come this way. I've closed this section off so they won't go in. For several days now, I've been putting out rat poison. And we have a small child who doesn't know any better and might accidentally eat the poison. This is where the rats come from. Here, not only water drips down from the ceiling, the window was completely broken. A few days ago, we decided to cover it with cellophane, just to get by for now. The wind comes in through here. Mariam is unemployed. She's a housewife. A few months ago, her husband went to Russia to work. The only stable source of income for this family of six is the government assistance it receives, totaling less than $63 a month. We do everything we can to scrape by, to survive, but we can't possibly save enough money to buy a home. Mariam says they've always dreamed of having their own home, but at some point had begun to lose hope. My son was in the army at that time. I said to myself, first and foremost, I ask God to grant that my son return safe and sound. Mariam's oldest son has served in Artsakh. After fighting in the four-day war of 2016, he has returned with a medal and a certificate of honor. I was filled with happiness that day. My joy was boundless, indescribable. I was so happy that I was shaking. My son took me in his arms and said, Mom, don't worry, I'm back. Everything is okay. Well, I guess I will know such joy again when, by some miracle, I'll have a home. Gilbert Mongjian, the chairman of the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund's German affiliate, and his wife, as well as representatives of the fund, have come to visit the Petrosians, ostensibly to meet them and ask some questions. In case we decide to provide you with a home, would you mind if we tear down this hut? You may do that the very next day, the very minute, the very next minute even. We're tired of the leaky roof. We're tired of the rats. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. These are the keys to your new home. Let me just add that the apartment you will receive today has been made possible by a few thousand families who have made donations after hearing about your situation. <laughs> after one last photo in front of the hut that has symbolized their hard life, the Petrosians, along with their guests, head to Gyumri's Mush district, where the big change awaits them. I can't find the words. All I can say is that I'm overjoyed. May God bless you all. I'm deeply grateful. We waited for 22 years. On this day, September 25th, God opened a big door for us by granting us our own four walls. We suffered a great deal and endured those years, but from this day forward, we will certainly start a new fresh life. We will sleep in a warm and beautiful apartment and without having to worry about rats. As of 2017, 
31 Gyumri families living in so-called temporary huts have received such comfortable apartments. Six of them were gifts from the German-Armenian community, as well as benevolent Germans who support the work of the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund. We don't want those children to continue living in Domitz. I'm told there are close to 700 families that still live in such squalid huts. We will do our utmost to free our compatriots of those hovels. The sooner, the better, so that they can start enjoying a dignified life. The most important thing is that the children of Gyumri grow up healthy. Today, I kept telling my mom that for sure we'll be leaving our domi. Mom, I said, look how many people have come to visit. This means we'll be moving to a new home. And that's exactly what happened. I thought they had come to shoot a video, but then, when they took out the keys, I can't describe what I felt. May God grant such happiness to all the families who are still living in the slavery of those dreadful domiks. Yes, slavery. This is the right word to describe our lives in those hovels.